In this video, we will show you how Studio CG works in a newsroom environment by integrating with existing newsroom control systems, or NRCS. An NRCS provides journalists with tools to organize and create content for a newscast or other programs. This means separating a show into stories and in each story providing all the content required to air the story, including teleprompter text, voiceover, graphics, and video content. Studio CG provides a solution for both video and graphics requirements. All the systems in the newsroom normally talk to each other through the MOS protocol or callout, so different vendors of different components understand each other in the distribution and synchronization of this content to its final destination. These components may be a video server, a teleprompter, or a CG engine, among others. For MOS to work, both the NRCS system and each peripheral system normally have an MOS Gateway component. WT Vision's MOS Gateway receives orders from the NRCS and synchronizes the Studio CG rundown in real time. In order for a journalist to add video and graphics content to their story, WT Vision provides an NRCS plugin that gets installed in the NRCS. Calling this plugin will show available graphics templates that have been imported into the system. If, for example, a journalist wants to add a lower third graphic to her story, she calls up the plugin and chooses the lower third template. The corresponding form appears and she can fill it out. To make sure everything fits snugly, she would like to see what the graphic will look like when it goes on air. Enter Studio Preview Server a component that requires many journalists to share a graphics rendering component to provide a pixel-perfect rendition of the final graphic without having to own an expensive graphics workstation. If she is not happy with the result, she can iterate this process as many times as she wishes. When adding video, you can search for it in WT Vision's Media Asset Manager, which locates all media available in the network under its scope. You can view a low-resolution proxy for easy browsing. After locating the video you require, simply send it to the story. After MOS communicates these actions to Studio CG, it will in turn ask the MAM for a media transfer to its final destination, if not already there. This happens automatically with no user intervention. You can also time graphics to video for fully automated story playout. After clicking a video, you can drag graphic templates to the timeline and adjust their in and out time codes. The low res video will allow you to pick the right moment for each graphic. When this story reaches studio, taking the video will automatically take the associated graphics in and out at the appropriate times. The NRCS workflow is available for multiple industry leading vendors with more being continuously added. If your workflow requires rendering graphics into your video stories permanently, it is likely you want to do this upstream in your non-linear editor. Studio CG provides a similar workflow for this using its NLE plugin, which we will cover in a separate video. Thanks for watching.